first of all, what's an API? Uh, there's all these technical definitions. And really, after you read them, you feel like you get nowhere until you talk to somebody or see it in action. Um, it stands for Application Programming Interface. The way I like to describe it is I just say API provides an access point for communicating with some kind of server-side application or a backend. That's really all it is. It's simply an access point to talk to an application. So for example, let's say we had an API for uh, some kind of social network and we had users. If you look at this example here in the slide, uh, you would go to some endpoint like mywebsite.com.api.api forward slash and then users. So that's like the URL, the endpoint, and this will get you back an array of users in JSON format. You usually use XML or JSON, more commonly it's JSON data. Looks a lot like JavaScript, uh, stands for JavaScript Object Notation. If you're a Python developer, it looks a lot like Python dictionaries. And that's how you're gonna get back that data. Now, in this example, if you use uh, a GET request for the HTTP method to get back a single user, you'd hit an endpoint or a URL like users with an ID, and that's gonna return back a single user. So you basically have these set of rules and endpoints that you can access to work with data, get data, and even send data to a specific backend without really needing to know how it even works. Backend developer develops the API, a front-end developer can access that API, and uh, they're really stateless in the sense of where they don't need to know about each other, they just sort of communicate. So uh, I like this example, it's kind of like a Fireship's video where he has that JavaScript code this, not that example, that's kind of what I followed. I don't know if anybody knows that uh, specific thumbnail, but this is what I'm gonna base the example off of, and essentially this is gonna be my JSON data uh, this is going to be some kind of request I'm going to hit on a back end, usually that user's endpoint. I'm going to get this data, and then as a front end developer, I'm going to convert it into something like this that you see on the right here.